on the day of the shooting, I got my camera and got on my bike and rode as fast as I could three miles from my house to the school to get as much video and get on as many interviews as I could because I knew that it, this could not be another mass shooting. Shrapnel lodged in my face, in my cheek, and behind my eyeball. So I was shot directly above the knee here, and then here, 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 and then on the side of my legs is where I got lodged with shrapnel. I feel mixed opinions or mixed emotions. I, I mean, I want to be a part of Stoneman Douglas, and I want to, you know, live out the rest of my high school career normally, but there's no such thing as normal anymore. So instead of just sitting around and not really doing anything in school because curriculum is never going to resume as normal for the rest of the year. I'm withdrawing from school so that I can finish it online because as a senior I only have two classes to finish. Seltzer said the Parkland tragedy proved that we all need to work to get over the stigma associated with mental health problems and an inability to ask for help when we're struggling. She said it's important for parents to look for suicide warning signs like kids who hurt themselves or stop taking part in important activities. Parents have to be a little bit more aggressive if they see those signs and not just wait for the child to ask for help, but maybe to take them to those resources. Sydney Aiello loved yoga and her mom said she wanted to dedicate her life towards helping others. Now you can help her family by donating money to a GoFundMe account set up in Sydney's memory. I, I wish I could just like wash it all off, take my Neutrogena makeup wipes and take it all off and then, you know, pull the bullet fragments out of my legs and have the scars never be there. I wish that I could walk normal, I wish I could talk normal and act normal, but I can't. We move on now to the disturbing headline in Florida tonight. First, the young woman, the Parkland graduate who took her own life. She had battled survivor's guilt after last year's deadly school shooting. Well, tonight, news of another apparent suicide. And now the urgent call for help tonight. Here's ABC's Diane Macedo. Tonight, a second student from Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School has died in an apparent suicide. This is heartbreaking, right? It was hard enough to lose the 17. It just adds to the heartbreak that this community has already suffered. Police say the student was found dead Saturday, less than a week after 19-year-old former student Sydney Aiello took her own life. Aiello lost several friends last February when a former student allegedly went classroom to classroom opening fire with a semi-automatic rifle. 14 students and three adults were killed. Aiello's mother says her daughter struggled with survivor's guilt.